All right, welcome back to the journey. Thank you for being a part of the journey and don't forget to share the journey. So we're going into evening. You can see the beautiful white caps though. I uh, just missed the sunset. I was working. Uh, but since I'm going to come off of this post and I'm going to take these three posts out and this will be the corner post because I'm going to bring that whole fence uh, in a line here. So that way I can excavate all this ground and turn all this into part of the parking lot. So um, I went through and I cut up the um, wire tires like I showed you in another video. Uh, so I could drive the T-post down so the plates were in since I did all these by hand. And then I decided to go through and I just did a quick twist. Just one simple twist. And I did every single wire. So I worked on that all day. All the way up the fence line. Here comes Mr. Miracle. Every time I'm filming, he's got to be right there up in the camera. That's his job, I guess. Right, Miracle? Right. So anyhow, uh, I needed to uh, put the fence up. And this was... No. No. Uh, this one, just on this side of the shelter, uh, this one was the last one that needed uh, to be hammered in. And then starting here at the wood post, I put all these posts in. So you can see, uh, even though it's winter, even though we have all this snow and the ground's hard and frozen, I did all this fencing today. I took a couple breaks because we had a couple snowstorms and then cleared back up. And you can see we got another storm rolling in. But I got the fence all the way up here to the electric box. So I'm super ecstatic because it's a nice chunk of fencing done. And uh, it's got the wire ties on. And then next winter, uh, for things to do, I'll come out and tighten all these. Twist them three or four times, hammer them down. And uh, that would give me something to do next winter. Uh, but... It's enough that it's not going to go nowhere if an animal pushes up against it because it's up every single one. So I stopped here because you can see we still have a lot of snow through here. And then down over here, uh, all this snow is about two feet deep, two and a half feet deep. So until all this melts, uh, I can't do any more fence. Um, because I need to be able to pull it and all this fencing is frozen down in the snow. I can't budge it. <coughs> this piece I was able to rip out and because uh, it wasn't that much snow right here. Uh, but that, that piece, you can see the difference. It's a six foot fence and you can see this has a couple feet uh, fencing down below. And uh, so that's how far I got. So, I'm proud of myself. I got a nice big section done. And uh, it's stabilized. It's wire tied. So, coyotes and stuff aren't going to be able to push their way under. They can push it, but it's not going to lift up. And the dogs can't get out. The goats can't get out. And like I said, this is a good section. A permanent fence done. And I think... I did roughly 150 feet of fencing that wasn't wire tied. And so that's 150 feet of T-posts I put in. And then I did approximately 250 feet of doing the wire tying all the way down. So that's it for tonight. I am headed in to get dinner. I'll talk to you guys later.